We turn now to our next guest. None other than multiple Emmy Award winning actor Kelsey Grammer. He gained fame for his role as Dr. Fraser Crane on the hit show Cheers and its spinoff Fraser. His new movie, Jesus Revolution, Please. tells the true story of an influential pastor, Chuck Smith. In the 1970s, Smith famously opened his church to hippies despite some members being against it. A Time magazine cover from 1971 called it the Jesus Revolution. In this preview, we see Chuck, played by Grammer, confront his daughter about a mystery street preacher she brought home. Take a look. What is going on? You said you wanted God to send you a hippie. I said that, but I did not mean it. Dad, I am telling you, there's something about this guy. We talked all night. He pretty much blew my mind. I spent the night with him? <laughs> He could be an axe murderer. Anyone could be an axe murderer. Look, just listen for 10 minutes, and if you think he's crazy, I'll throw him out myself. This house has a very good vibe. No. Oh, <laughs> Kelsey Grammer <laughs> joins us right now. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm great. Thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us. Now, what resonated with you most about this particular role and story? Well, when I, um, I was having a, a sort of a late night, and I sat in my living room, and I was thinking, geez, I want to do something that actually has some value hmm. beyond just the fact that I'm doing another role or uh, something that uh, I enjoy playing. And uh, the very next morning, this script was delivered to my house. And wow. uh, I really? said, oh. Seems like divine intervention. Go. It was a little bit will. of divine intervention, yeah. Yeah, talk about and, uh, timing. I didn't amazing. know this was a true story, though, Kelsey. Did you know anything about Chuck Smith? Well, I knew about the, uh, the Time Magazine cover. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know about Chuck Smith. Yeah, I knew and, about uh, the hippie revolution or the love revolution, but yeah, I did yeah. not know this man's story. And I didn't know about Lonnie Frisbee either, about his connection with uh, uh, each coast, because I, I grew up in Florida, and I met a couple of girls on the beach once, years ago, that said, you know, have you met Jesus? And I, I thought, well, I, th I said, I think I kind of have. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you Jesus? <laughs> well, I was, I was a, a, a fairly religious kid, but I grew up in a, in a metaphysical church, basically, Christian science. So uh, it was a little bit uh, of a different take, but I, I felt familiar with it. And I thought th th there was such excitement in their eyes and such, such um, genuine uh, innocence and, mm -hmm. and faith. And, uh, but they turned was, Chuck Smith around, though. You, you yeah, said, as a man, you connected to him because as a man sort of at a loss, that was very similar to how you felt as well. What do you mean by that? Right. Well, I think, uh, I think we've all been through crises of faith in our lives, you know? Mm. I, I certainly lost my yeah. sense of faith for a while through several things. I mean, I'm, I'm working on a lot of... I'm writing a book about my sister, actually, right even now, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm still sorting through some you of that. You lost your sister. Yeah. Now. And uh, Violent way. all people stand on that sort of precipice in their lives where they suddenly need some intervention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in, in Chuck's case, of course, it comes through this, this guy, Lonnie Frisbee. <laughs> Let's talk about the uh, Frasier reboot, mm -hmm. uh, which is coming to Paramount+. Plus. We're very happy about that. Of course, part of the CBS family, Paramount Global. Um, you started production, I think, earlier this month? Yep. Uh, yeah. Where, about where, two shows. Where does the life of uh, Dr. Frasier Crane pick up? Well, uh, what's fun is it's sort of, uh, we wanted to make it a, another act, his next act, because uh, people used to ask me when I was playing him for so long before, they would say, how is it you uh, can keep this guy fresh? I said, well, I don't know, you wake up in the morning, don't you? It's like, <laughs> life is fresh. I feel fresh yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if, when if, I wake if up. If life yes. isn't fresh each day for you, then I think you're sort of missing something. <laughs> and so uh, certainly the character has that kind of... Uh, uh, buoyancy. Yeah. He, he it, really it, lives on. It's an iconic role, character, show. Um, was there hesitation? Because there's there's a couple of ways that people look at reboots. It's like, we gotta have it. And then there's also, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I, yeah. I sent off an email sometime in, it was late August, where I said, listen, if we're gonna kill this character, we'd just been given a bunch of notes on what they thought the show should be. And I, I wrote David, and I said, uh, if we're gonna kill this character, let me do it. Yeah. Because mm. what did you think uh, of the notes? Now we're, they were, they were awful. You didn't like the notes. Okay. They, were, they, were, they, were, they were going down the wrong path at the time. Okay. Right. You know, well-intentioned. Okay. Of course. But yeah. noted to death. And I, I, I finally said, look, let's just kill it now. Yeah. And he said, no, no, sorry. Yeah, we understand. It's supposed to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> but Kelsey, most notes, when people give you notes, are well-intentioned. Okay? Yeah, well. I've gotten a couple notes. Maybe got, some okay. are. Maybe some are. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, what's it like stepping back into the character? I mean, do you feel the character kind of coming out of you? It was seamless. Come, you know, yeah. uh, I mean, I, I created it, I guess. I mean, you know, the writers, you know, the, the, the idea of a writer, a writer creates a, a fantasy, basically, and you come in along and put blood and bone into it. And, yeah. 
that's where it arrives. Your imagination and the writers come together to create this this thing that ends up being real. Yeah. And uh, he's uh, he's real, and he's actually really funny. So <laughs> he's real. Oh, he's real. He's fun and to he's watch fresh. him. Yeah. I, I yeah. like what you said. You put blood and bone in it. I yeah. Like that. You certainly did. I'm telling you, I did not know anything about Chuck Smith. And I, I saw this movie as a love story of sorts. Did you? Did you as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's, everybody's looking for love in it. I mean, you know what? I'm, I, I miss that it. generation. Yeah. I love that generation. Summer of Love. I love what we were then. I loved the, the hopefulness in people's eyes and in their minds and in their hearts. I mean, it was real. It yeah. was genuine. And uh, we've lost our way somehow. We really have in a lot of ways. You know, we're at each other's throats again, and it just seems like a. Just seems like the wrong flavor. Yep. Yeah. You know, I agree. We can do better. Well, listen, we you're leaving a good, good taste in our mouth today, man. We appreciate Thanks, you. Thank yeah. you so much for <laughs> joining your us. Your blood and your bones. Yeah, you Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> Jesus Revolution is in theaters everywhere February 24th. All right.